Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to an epic new series as this has been requested over and over again in the comments of my mod reviews and it is finally time. Today is the beginning of my brand new series, an epic modded survival using the mod pack I've created myself called the Diamond Dimensions. So this mod pack currently has over 30 mods in it including the Eternal Frost, we've got the basics like Forge and Optifine, we've got underground biomes, we've got seasons, damage indicators, fire lands, more swords, gravestones, jammy furnitures, enhanced portals, atom desert dimension and an absolute ton more including stuff like the twilight forest, fan packs and so much more. So the kind of theme about this mod pack is new dimensions and traveling and exploring all of those as well as having like new updates to the vanilla kind of um, overworld as well. So before I get into the beginning of this, those of you that have been subscribed to me for a while will know about my over 9000 challenge series which stopped when 1.5 was released. So the release of 1.5 stopped that series really in its tracks because when I updated it I was getting lots of errors and the whole thing was just getting well just going wrong so unfortunately that series has to be scrapped to make way for this but I promise you that this will be the most epic modded survival series you have ever seen. <laughs> so without further ado let's get into this straight away and those of you that want to play this mod pack along with me I am actually planning on releasing this too but we'll start playing it myself first to give you a taster of the pack but I'm also waiting on permissions from all of the modders before I'm able to do so so you will be able to look forward to playing the, di the diamond dimensions yourself so yeah look forward to that in the future so I've spawned in this world the seed is the diamond minecart as you would um, imagine because it's pretty awesome and this series is going to be massive so I've also spawned in the bonus chest because um, I'm lazy I don't really want to punch wood for too long because it's going to make a boring episode but anyway I have a full list of mods in the description just because I didn't want to go through the whole list speaking them and let's let's start this bad boy so today is just going to be kind of like a setup episode because I don't want it to go on too long and I just want to kind of set up the whole yeah, the whole thing basically. So in here you can see a sneak peek at one of the new mods which is the more swords mod and we've got three basic swords. These are probably the worst swords in the pack, especially the glass one that is going to break pretty easily. So if we grab all this and then we're going to uh, just punch some trees man and then we've got a free chest as well. So if we take all this and we're going to be able to, can we make, uh, let's, just, let's just make a crafting table first. And then we can plop that down and we do we have enough for a an axe um yes we have the perfect amount for an axe so we're going to get another preview of one of the other mods oh no i don't have enough for an axe that is so so not not that's just that's just disgusting so we're gonna have to punch down this tree and um get another piece of wood and hopefully now we will have enough for an axe because we're going to make a couple more sticks and yes we do have enough for an axe because i have a very special mod installed Oh yes, I have the tree felling mod. So yeah, let's take this guy down and all of it will fall down with it. Bam, look at that. It's beautiful. It gives you apples. It gives you all of the saplings as well. This is just an amazing mod and we're going to be able to make a house out of nothing. So let's just uh, pick all of these up. Let's make it look amazing. Bring all these up and um, we're just going to have to chop down trees for a little bit, which is a bit unfortunate, but we're going to have to do it. It's just going to have to be done. Just pick up all of these and we've got a lot of wood already. Look, we've got 16 wood from just like a couple of swipes. That's pretty decent. So I'm really looking forward to this series. I don't know about you. You've requested it a lot. So I decided to do it. I've tried to put as much time into it as possible because it's just going to be so cool. I wanted to make a mod pack and I've, I've finally managed to do it. But as I said in the earlier, earlier in the episode, I do want to release this. So if you are interested, then do say in the comments if you want to see this released. Because I'm in the process of getting all the permissions from the mod pack, um, the mod creator, sorry, in the mod pack. And hopefully we'll be able to do this. So what have we got going on here? We've got 32 wood. Let's just make half of it into planks for now. And we've got the basis of a house. So let's have a look what's around here. Over here, you can see we have a battle tower. So we've got battle towers in this mod. And we're going to be able to go and search that out later. You can see that blue bar above my hunger as well. That's another thing you can probably uh, see right off the bat. And that is the hypothermia bar, which is part of the eternal frost mod. So that is going to be pretty damn sweet as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. Oh, yeah. So we've got to make a house. So this is going to be possibly the most boring episode, but hopefully I can get some of your feedbacks on how the mod is, how the mod pack's looking for you. Again, the uh, description contains all of the stuff you need to know. The full mod list in this, this pack, which I'm not going to go through 
right now. But um, yeah, I'm going to start building a very, very basic house. And then we're going to have to find out how to find some of those, you know, coal and all the stuff like that. So let's just make a basic house for now. It's going to be the worst house you've probably ever seen just because, you know, it's your first vanilla house. It's your first survival house. And we don't really want um, to die on our first day because we have got new mobs to work out for. It's all getting pretty intense. It definitely is. So we're going to have to build this up here. And then build ourselves a little house. So this is going to take a little bit of a while. Let's just hope that nothing attacks us in the meantime. Because as I said, as I did mention, there are new mobs that we're going to have to check out and try and kill. But I'll keep that as a surprise for later on. So we're going to need it three high, I think. So we've definitely got enough wood. That's what I love about the, the tree feller mod. It's just oh, so good. So good. So um, in this first episode, I do apologize if you experience any lag. Because uh, it is creating a new world as I am playing. So I hope I hope you don't mind. Uh, if you mind, then unfortunately, I, I can't do anything about it. But let's go. Let's just make this make this very basic roof and then we're gonna have to find some coal because it's starting it's already past midday which i'm not too fond of so let's get out of here and then we're gonna have to find some coal after moving our crafting table indoors and hopefully we can come across some sheep as well so we can make a bed and let's just pick this bad boy up give me this give me this so let's uh go in here and then plop that in here and we have enough wood for a door I love the new feature of being able to do that, by the way, just dragging all your stuff so that you can um, just drag it rather than doing multiple clicks. It's so good. And then we can nick this chest for later and these torches as well, actually, let's just grab some of these just so that we can have some free torches, you know, scrounging. That's the best part of the first day of modded survival. So let's go over here and I'm sure maybe there's a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. So we're going to have to find some coal. I wonder if there's any kind of... Um, What's it called nearby? Any caverns or anything? Um, I'm not too sure. Let's just plop a couple of these out here to save the beasties. And then let's try and find some kind of opening. I hope I can find one because it's going to be very long just trying to uh, dig down and find out. So we're next to a jungle biome as well. That's okay, I guess. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Are there any openings around here? There's ocelots and there's cube bots. That is another mod in this mob. No, this is another mod in this mod pack. I can't really say mob and mod together. It's kind of tough. But I love this mod. I reviewed it a very long time ago. And it is a very cool mod, which I'll get more into later on when we've got our first settlement down. So let's just scour the area, see if there is actually anything of worth around here. I really do need a freaking opening right now. So over here, there is some new grass that so you will see. This is part of the Legend Gear mod, which is kind of Zelda... Exp it's kind of taken... Um, what's it called? What is the word? What is the word? Um, influence from Zelda. As you can see, I am picking up different stuff. And you've got the little Zelda sounds. I hope you can hear that. That is awesome. So that is another mod that I'll get to in more detail. So hopefully like each episode will be kind of like going over each mod. But damn, there's no openings nearby at all. None at all. What is that? No. No, we need to stay away from her. My god, there is new mobs spawning already. I don't want to touch her. She is from the Grimoires of Gaia 2 mod. I um, reviewed that quite um, a few days ago, or maybe last week. That is full of a crazy amount of mobs and stuff. And yeah, it's really, really aggressive. There's so many aggressive things in that mod. And oh, lag, as you can see, we're generating the world here. I do apologize for that, but it will get better. And oh... No, it's not an opening. I thought it was an opening. So it looks like I'm just going to have to dig, which I'm not going to be uh, much of a fan of. Let's just get rid of this. Oh, look, th this grass grows back and it just has oh, so much memories of Zelda. It's just awesome. So there's another woman over there. I don't know if she's actually... Oh, God, this lag is just killing me. I don't even know where she went. There she goes. There's a couple in here. I don't... Oh, yeah, they look hostile. I'm running away. I must run away. So I'm just going to have to dig near my house because it doesn't look like there is anything nearby, which is very unfortunate. We do have a bit of food because the tree felling mod allows us to get apples, which is handy. Um, God, I'm so, I'm so nervous right now. I hate the start of a survival series. It's always the same and I just can't get anything right. It's just going badly. So, um, oh, there's an opening down here. So let's go into that quickly. I've also, um, for your interest, got the keep inventory thing going on because there's a lot of stuff in here that's very difficult to get. And if I do manage to get to grab it and I die, I am not going to be a fan of that. So let's see if there's any coal down here because 
I hope there is because I don't want to face any monsters right now. And as you can see, there are some new um, new things going on here. There's some new cobblestone we've got here. And this one is Rhyolite cobblestone. So this is like a replacement for cobblestone in the underground biomes mod. So it's all looking very, very fancy. And as we get further into some cave systems, you will see <gasps> coal. You will not just see coal, but you will see that there are different kinds of stones out and about in this mod so it's really really cool it makes the underground just look that so much better rather than being surrounded by stone all the time so let's grab this and hopefully we'll be able to make it back to our house without dying um yeah so that's going to be a bit of a challenge let's just grab all this oh there's a decent amount here this is definitely what we needed and hopefully we can get a furnace going and this will be a very very successful first night in the diamond dimensions so i'm not really sure where to go with this first i can just kind of explore the overworld there is dungeon pack in this mod which means we have 12 new dungeons to try and find and explore I might try and start with cube bots i'm not too sure but we can just go along with what this kind of gives us we've got battle towers i just kind of need to use this first episode as a way to grab resources and i'm stuck god i'm stuck oh god this is nerve-wracking i need to get back up not over there because that looks very very scary but up to my house so that i can deposit all of this stuff and hopefully not die but i guess it doesn't matter to oh god <laughs> i'm panicking now i'm panicking so let's go in here so a lot of these mods i haven't actually done a mod review on i just kind of uh, come across them and thought about doing mod reviews on but haven't had the oh god no no this can't be the end get out get out of here i'm gonna have to use my bone sword i'm using bones against the bone no, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is bad. This is bad. This is so very bad. God, I died! First episode and I'm dead. But at least I keep all my stuff and we spawn right outside the house. Thank God for that. That was so scary. <laughs> As you can see, things are definitely coming down on me right now. That is not good. And I'm only on easy mode right now. I might change that because that is a really, really easy difficulty to be on. But I'm kind of scared. So let's make a furnace. We got our coal. We need to make some torches as well just to make stuff a little bit easier right then furnace check pickaxe check sword check i kind of need to make like a, a better sword let's do that because we've got some cobblestone here so this stuff acts like normal cobblestone you can also get different stuff and i've also got not enough items on here because i want to know the recipes and it's not for cheating it's just for tons of recipes because there's tons in this mod and now I'm, I'm kind of stuck inside i don't know what to do um we could go back down i guess i'm not too sure i could yeah let's just do it let's just make some sticks make some torches and then be on our merry way so what am i doing here here we go there's a nice bunch of torches here and let's let's just go outside because we're gonna if we're gonna die we're gonna spawn out here anyway and don't worry i'm not gonna try and use it as a cheat i just want to keep all of my stuff because uh you know it's very very annoying to find really good things and then just die so let's go down here and there's a zombie here oh there's a what, what is hitting me Hello? Show your face. Show your face. Oh, it's the guys from earlier. And as you can see, I've got the tombstones mod on here as well. So you can see where I died. It's kind of, this reminds me of Worms, this mod. Look at it. Ah, oh. Pokemon Dan was shot by a skeleton. How unfortunate. Can we dig underneath? I'm not too sure. No, we just kind of pick up the gravestone. That's unfortunate. Let me just plop this gravestone back down so we know I am. And um, yes. Yes. That is where I died. So what have we got here? We've got a dog. Do I have any bones? No, I can't kind of do that. Let's grab some, some stuff from here. It's really good to grab arrows from here because arrows are usually very, very difficult to kind of get. And, oh, where are you? No, stay away from me, sir. Please get away. So there we go. He's dead. He's dead. That's what I like to see. So we're gaining experience too. And where was that place? This is the place where I found the coal, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. You die. You die. Right then, we need to find some way through so that we can get... I, I was hoping this was kind of like a cave, but it doesn't really look like it is. Or is it? Or is it? N no, it's not. It's not at all. Oh, no, it might be. Put some torches down here. And oh, we've got the, sp we got the beginnings. Hopefully this is actually... Yeah, there we go. We've got this sorted. Oh, God. It's a dead end. <laughs> so maybe we haven't got this sorted, but at least we've stopped stuff spawning down here. Come on, we've got to find some kind of cave... Because otherwise, it's just going to be a boring first episode. Mind you, we've got... We've had pretty good going so far. We've managed to... Oh, God. Get away from me, sir. No. I hate skeletons. They're the worst. And they got so much better in 1.5. They're more accurate and they're more powerful. 
So in this mod with the legend gear installed, you can actually have the chance of dropping hearts from your enemies, which is a really, really nice feature to have because you can just pick up that extra heart so you don't die and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about. I haven't really got much food apart from apples and rotten flesh. And I really need to find a decent opening around here. So I might just cut to when I find a tunnel or something, maybe. I'm not too sure. Just kind of get... I need to get my surroundings sorted out because I'm not too sure. I haven't explored this at all just to add to the surprise of the survival. There seems to be a squid dying over there. I think it's passed away. But <laughs> um, let's just see what's going on. Um, nothing much, it seems. It seems there's a swamp biome over here where... Oh, God. The skeletons. Anything with skeletons. Zombies I can deal with. But you guys, no. Just get away from me, you son of a, son of a gun. So here we go. We've got some stuff from him. And there's a witch over there. She's got 40 health. Um, I don't want to tackle her just yet unless she comes after me. She is from the Grimoires of Gaia mod. She kind of improves on the normal witches. But I do want to grab some pork here. Let's get some pork. And I need some kind of... Come on, give me something. Not just pigs. Pigs are kind of useful right now, though. Uh, so I don't, don't go near the witch. Are you friends with her or something? Are you friends? So, there's nothing over here. There's nothing... You're not giving me anything to work with, for God's sake. So over here, there is a bit of swamp. Um, anything over there? There's a farlander. There's some spiders. There's a skeleton. And the witch, which is... Uh, <laughs> which, which? Ah, rhyming. No, it's not really rhyming. It's alliteration, isn't it? I don't really know, but... Uh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. I can't find any sheep either, so I can't make a bed. So I can't skip through the night. Oh, I'm, in the, I'm in a jungle. Nothing is going well. Nothing is going well. Apart from the fact we did actually build a house. That is quite good. Because usually when I start survival, I just can't find anything. I can't find coal. Nothing goes right. So uh, I don't really know what to do right now. Actually, what I can do is set a waypoint for home. Now I am there just because uh, if I die or if I get very lost and don't want to die, I can find home. So this is going to be a nice, beautiful red waypoint thanks to the Ray's minimap mod, as I'm sure most of you are actually familiar with. So let's take a treetop tour of this place. Is there anything of worth? No, there's just a ton of mobs waiting to destroy me. There's glowing grass. Oh my god. It looks like I'm just going to have to mine in my house. Not not the best start, so let's try that anyway, because... Not in my house, no. I don't really want to do that in my house. Looks like it's going to have to start down here. This is the boring start of survival, unfortunately, and hopefully I can keep you entertained for long enough. But I will play some stuff off-screen so that you're not as um, bored as you <laughs> might start to become. And this is not looking promising. We've got some new kind of cobblestone up in here. Get out of here. I like it when you get past the dirt and then you get to the cobblestone because that's when it starts to... It just means you don't use your fist anymore or your spade. It's just really, really cool. So let's just dig down here and see what goodies this may bring. Hopefully we come across a chasm or something like that. I haven't, as I said earlier, I haven't explored this whatsoever. Because, you know, I just haven't. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the longest episode ever. I'm hoping not to make these too long. I'm kind of make them, I guess, like 20 minutes um, long, the episodes. Just so that you don't get too bored and everything stays fresh. And I can play a little bit off screen just so that I can find decent stuff so that this doesn't happen. I just wanted to get this first episode out as quickly as possible because I was so excited that I finished the mod pack. The mod pack is very exciting, although the beginning isn't really looking like it. So, yeah, this is mining. This is Minecraft. This is what you normally do. And it's not looking too good, is it? Not at all. What I can do, actually, is switch over to the cave thing on the old minimap and see what is going on. It looks like there's nothing much here, but if we go... Oh, there's something over there. As you can see in the top right, it has changed to kind of like... What do you call that? Like night vision, I guess? It looks kind of like that. But um, I don't know if it's getting darker or lighter. That little patch over there. Come on, give me a sign. Give me a sign. Let's just move over to it over here, it looks like. I think my pickaxe is going to break. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we can make it to the end. So it looks like there definitely is something through here. I do have another pickaxe. It is only wood, but it's going to have to do. 
And there is something. There is something. I don't know what it is. It could be where we have already been. I'm, I'm fearing that it might be that. Because it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. But still, that is... That's what's going to happen. Oh, something is dying down there. Look, you can see the ones going. So something is definitely occurring. Something is definitely happening. We're almost near the dark patch. Let's see what happens. See what it happens to be. Um, come on. Please show it something good. Please. Otherwise, it disappointed all my viewers in this episode. Just light another torch up in here. And we're almost above it. We're almost there. It is becoming so tense up in here. It could be absolutely nothing. It could be something, but who's going to know until we get there? So is it above? Is it below? No one knows. So it could be below us. Something was definitely dying down there. Oh! Oh, yes! Look at this! It's a flipping cavern! Yes, we found it! Guys, I did not let you down. I hope I didn't anyway. Look at this. We found an opening, and my pickaxe broke. <laughs> So we've finally found something. Look at this. It's huge. It's amazing. It's got loads of ores. It's got... Ah, oh, look at this. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. So it can make the next episode a whole lot more interesting and this one too. So we've got coal down the sides here. And as you can see, the Underground Biomes mod makes this look so much better. I think you'll agree. It just looks so cool. This looks good. It just looks good. It makes it look just a lot more interesting than just stone everywhere, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. So... Yep, we've got lava, so we can use the Cubots mod soon when we find some iron because lava is kind of like the, the main part of creating Cubots. We've got a lot of stuff around here. It's looking good. I am happy. So we're going to make this a lot better in here. This, is, it in, is it even day yet? I'm not too sure. Go up here. Make a little way out because we didn't really work out these stairs very well. And next time I will just come down here and fix this because obviously it's not working very well. I've not made myself enough room to get up. I will make this a little bit more clean so that we can go and survive the cavern next time. My pickaxe is broke. Beautiful timing. At least it's daytime now. That is pretty handy. So let's get up to the top. And again, I've not left enough. You know what? I've got enough cobblestone. Damn, that is a lot of cobblestone. Ah, oh, we've come to the top. And it is just outside the house as well. It's kind of down there, which is awesome. So let's just change back to the surface because we've we've used that very nicely. Get back inside. And I think I might just end the episode here. I'm sorry it wasn't too much of an interesting episode, but I wanted to get this out there, show you what mods I am going to be using, and just get excited for this mod. It is going to be amazing. This survival series is going to be epic. There's going to be things happening outside of the norm of the mods. I will just give you a little spoiler there. But yes, things are happening. We found a ravine. All is looking good. So next time when we come back to this, I think I'm going to do this every Saturday, every like once a week because Saturday is like, uh, I, I guess when I, I should do this because I started on a Saturday. But yeah, this is the Diamond Dimensions mod pack. Um, next time we will go down to that ravine and start exploring, trying to find some decent stuff and also make this a little bit more tidy before I start recording. So that is all we have time for in this first pilot episode of the Diamond Dimensions modded survival. And I hope that you are going to enjoy the series. Expect lots of mod exploration, combat, and many extra things for my storyline too. You'll just have to wait and see what happens. So if you do want to see more of this, then please smash that like button and I'll make sure I make this a more regular occurrence at the moment. As I said, I am planning on doing this once a week, probably on a Saturday, but if this gets lots of of likes maybe you will see the next episode sooner than you think anyway thanks again for watching guys do check out the mod list in the description below just to see what is going to come up there's a lot of good stuff in here and anyway yeah enough of me rambling thanks for watching again guys make sure you subscribe if you have to be new to the channel like if you enjoyed and i will see you all next time and we will explore this amazing ravine so i'll see you all next time guys goodbye